What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And some of the creators, producers of Red Dead, uh, or Red Dead Redemption 2, have done a kind of interview that was posted yesterday. I will link the interview down in the description below if you want to read over everything within that interview. I'm going to kind of talk about some of the things they discussed. A lot of the stuff they discussed was questions that the community has had, you know, stuff that's coming to the game. And all the answers we got, in my opinion, are very disappointing. The first thing they talked about was they wanted to continue to add stuff to Red Dead Online, but at a slower pace than they did within GTA Online. Now, it took GTA Online a long time for it to get to where it is today, but as we have talked about in many videos I have made before, the community, the player base in GTA Online is a lot larger than Red Dead has ever seen, in my opinion. I think the single player player base in Red Dead 2 was really big, but the online player base is not that big. So really saying that they're going to do expansions do you know adding things into the online mode but at a slow pace is kind of disappointing in my mind i think a lot of people were disappointed how long it took the summer update to be released so with them continuously adding things slowly into the game i'm not sure if this is going to be the best the best method i'm not sure if the community is really going to like this or if they will even hang around for a long period of time to be able to play all this stuff or just go play something else and wait till new stuff comes out till they come back and play red dead online at the same time they talked about businesses they said they want to eventually expand it so you're not just running all your businesses from your camp but they don't want to get away from that camp idea too quickly which is also another idea that I'm not sure is great and it kind of you know goes with the next thing they talked about and that was properties. They said properties will be coming to the game and properties was leaked a long time ago, right before the game was released. Properties coming to the game were, were leaked at that point for Red Dead Online. But they said at the same time they don't want to get away from the uh, camp you know idea too quickly. So when it comes to properties and it comes to running businesses not just from your camp, it seems like you're going to be at your camp for a good while longer until other things are added into the game. Kind of all tying into this whole idea of they're wanting to release this stuff but very slow so i'm not sure how the community is going to feel about a lot of this but we'll go ahead and get into some of the other things they said they were talking about also you know heist a lot of people want heist and things of that nature train robberies bank robberies whatever the case may be people players people community everybody wants that added into the game and that was another thing they said they're looking to add to the game but they're not rushing it it's just like everything they say within this is just something they're wanting to release on a very slow kind of schedule. They also talked about expanding the map. They said that could be something they do in the foreseeable future, but nothing is planned as of right now. And then the last part of this interview was one that I really did not like, the one that really kind of made the whole thing even worse in my opinion. They said there were no single player DLC in the works, and that was not their focus at this time. I know a lot of players out there don't play Red Dead online. They played the game just for the single player, and I can understand that. You can play the single player for 50 plus hours and still not get everything done. There's a lot of players out there that are new to the game that may enjoy the single player but really don't care for the online experience. Well, this being kind of said, they're not focusing on single player right now. That looks like we're not going to be getting any kind of single player news that's going to be legitimate and not something leaked and, you know, something that we don't know if it's true or not. It looks like we're not going to be getting that anytime soon either. So this whole kind of interview with these, uh, you know, producers and developers of the game is kind of just saying, well, we're doing stuff, but we're not going to be doing it at a very quick pace. It's going to be stuff that is kind of slow timed releases. Now, while I can kind of see, you know, a lot of players in single player, you know, they've already stepped away from the game. They don't play the online mode. See, they're really forcing you. If you're just a single player fan, see, they're forcing you to continue to play the single player just over and over and not really have nothing new to do or to play online or just to stop playing. I think that's what a lot of players have done. But with all of this talk about the online mode, having all of this stuff coming to it eventually, but you know, at a slower kind of time frame, I think that's also going to hurt the online community. First of all, not only are you going to have to wait for this stuff, but there's so many bugs in the game as of late. And some of these updates we've had over the last few weeks have caused things to get even worse for a lot of people. You know, issues with the camps, issues with the daily, you know, challenges resetting, even though you've done them for so many days, you know, everybody's got reset. Player appearances having problems, not including the connection issues. Some people have had connection issues since the beta and have not been able to play. Some people have gotten connection issues like myself off and on where sometimes it'll let you play, sometimes it won't. Some people are now just starting to experience these connection issues. And that is a big thing, in my opinion. When you're talking about releasing all of this DLC slowly, and a lot of these other issues within the game are not getting fixed either, 
I, I think this could be something that is bad for the game than than really getting making the game better, I guess, overall. We will have to wait and see how long this stuff takes to come out. We will have to wait and see, you know, what kind of info we get about another update. It doesn't look like we're going to be getting another update from the way this sounds this year. I, I was hoping we'd get something else towards the, you know, winter months before the end of the year. But the way they're making all this sound, it sounds like they're trying to work on all the internal stuff and listen to feedback and just release all this stuff very slowly. And with that kind of news, releasing things slowly for online and not really focusing on single player, I'm afraid that it's going to really harm the game in the long run. Like I said, people will just go away from the game, play something else, and maybe come back and try out some of the new stuff. But the longer that goes on, the less people are going to come back, in my opinion, and try out stuff. It's going to be eventually just where there's nobody really playing. Leave me a comment, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Like I said, I'll link the article down in the description below if you'd like to read over it for yourself. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.